You can't say one name without the other. Mm -hmm. The Hatfields and McCoys are two of the most recognizable families in our region's history. Well, today, both families work together to try to preserve that history. And as News Channel 3's Joseph Payton reports, they want to collect as much of that history as they can and bring it back to where it belongs. Deep in the mountains of Logan County rests Devil Ants Hatfield, the patriarch of the Hatfield family during its feud with the McCoys. He mentioned during the feud that he was going to move so far back in the mountains that they'll never find him. And if they did, he would be able to take care of him before they reached him. Jackie well, Hatfield Jr. is Devil's great, great, great grandson. And the family history so is his passion. This is the bullet holes where uh, Devil actually shot at the pole, Devil Lance did. His mission? Collect as many artifacts the from the feud as possible and bring them here to where Devil Ants last lived. Not only the properties, but even the relics of the family have gotten out of the family's hands. The home Devil Ants lived in no longer stands, but the history remains. And now a museum will help preserve the historic pieces of the feud. And we know it's out there. Um, you know, there's a lot of rumors going around that it's all floating around. Um, so I'm trying to find it, trying to collect it, bring it into the museum. It's funny though, nobody knows the absolute truth. Even when I even meet other McCoys and we talk about different parts of the stories, they even have their own version of what happened. But with both families together. Prime example to the world that we can all celebrate our differences and get along. This is the start of piecing that puzzle together, something even old Devil Ants might be proud of. He also tried to stop the feud for many years as well, so I think he would actually be very happy with uh, peace between the families and see no more bloodshed. Joseph Payton, WSAZ News Channel 3, Logan County. Hatfield uh, tells us that this site is the only representation of the actual feud that includes both the Hatfield and McCoy families working together. Hatfield hopes to have the museum open to the public by mm -hmm. February. And for anyone who might have any relics from the days of the feud, well, Amazing. they want you. You can contact yeah. him through his website, hatfieldmccoy.org. Coming up.